uh, have the Pixel 6 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Right now, Pixel's kind of looking a bit more saturated. Yeah, a bit more saturated with that front-facing camera. Galaxy's not, but you're hearing the audio from both of them. And I'm walking down so you see how it actually feels during daytime. Um, and so much more in this video I gotta talk about, but let's check out the rear cameras. Here are the rear cameras on the Pixel 6 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Again, just walking down, woo, capturing as much as I can. And uh, let's just stay still for a second and we'll see. So this is all about the battle vid. Now, as we can clearly see, the cameras have definitely improved in the Pixel 6 Pro, especially when it comes to video. But what about the hardware? Let's jump into that right now. Now, 6 Pro is a 6.7 inch device. The Galaxy is a 6.8 inch device. They both have 120 hertz displays with adaptive refresh rate, which is nice. Now, they also both house roughly a 5,000 milliamp battery each uh, with the Pixel 6 Pro coming with a 30 watt charger in terms of charging. Galaxy is 25 watts. So the charging edge will go to the Pixel 6 Pro, at least in terms of that we have on paper. Both of them have wireless charging. Pixel 6 Pro is 30 watts. They both have reverse wireless charging as well. Now, there's no charger in the box. We know that. So that part is pretty clear. And in terms of aesthetic and design, it's really what you like with both of these devices. So that's all that is cool. All that is nice and dandy. What are the hardware features that are quite different? One thing you will notice with the Pixel 6 Pro is the haptic feedback. When you're typing, you're texting, you're navigating, it is very responsive uh, compared to the Galaxy, which is not as much. Now, for me, I don't care for haptic feedback. That's not my thing. And a lot of people have been looking for that. So that is a big plus for those people who are looking for that. For me, it's an extra bonus if it's something you like. Uh, uh, right there. Both devices have uh, stereo speakers. Now, of course, normally I would do a separate speaker test, but in this video, we'll take a listen to how they both sound simply playing far away YouTube copyright music. Pretty good from the 6 Pro, I think. And also very solid from the S21 Ultra. I think the S21 Ultra has the edge. I think it has just deeper bases and I think it is clearer in my mind, but what do you guys think on that aspect? Now let's jump back into the cameras for a second for this. And we'll take a look at some of the photos and images uh, in daytime using both the Pixel 6 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The images on the Ultra do keep up quite well and are less contrasty and saturated as we have on the Pixel. If that's something you like, the Pixel does kind of uh, move to, to that blend arena. The um, zoom lens on the Pixel is, telephoto lens is pretty good. The Galaxy does a really good job when it goes to 10, 20, 30x and so forth. So that is also a nice big plus from Samsung. Now, you guys know I love to game. So of course, gaming is very essential on these devices and is quite essential for me. But before we do that, we wanna look at those Geek Benchmark scores to see what we actually have for these devices here. Now, when we take a look at the Geek Benchmark scores for 
the Pixel 6 Pro compared to the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Remember, this is a Snapdragon version of the device. We can clearly see that the 6 Pro does a great job in single core, 1001. Uh, while the S21 Ultra is only 818. I ran it a couple of times, it was around the 800 mark. But the multi-course cores are very vast and different with the Galaxy doing uh, 3150 and the um, Pixel, Pixel 6 Pro doing 2677. Now, just to give you something that's slightly different, you can see here that the Exynos version does 1001 for its uh, single core and a much higher multi-core score. So. Um, just read that as you will if you want to, but to confirm, at least for us, what it actually does, let's jump in and see some of those gameplay benchmarks with GameBench. Let's jump into GameBench, look at some of the benchmark comparisons. Now, the Pixel 6 Pro and Galaxy S21 Ultra, this is comparing the Snapdragon Edition, both are 60 FPS for Call of Duty Mobile, so that is fine. And frame stability is around the same 100 to 99%. Now, when we move over to Vainglory, you can see both can do 120 frames per second quite easily. 100% FPS stability for the 6 Pro, 99 for the S21 Ultra. Now, we move to PUBG Mobile Smooth Extreme. You can see both again, 60 FPS for both, as well as 99% frame stability for both. Uh, Pixel 6 Pro and PUBG Mobile. Now, currently, the Pixel 6 Pro cannot do Ultra HD Ultra, so uh, only the Galaxy can do that and can do it at 40 frames per second with 100% uh, stability. Now, when we move over to Genshin Impact, here. Genshin is where we saw the biggest change and the uh, biggest disparity in my gaming review of the Pixel 6 Pro, so definitely go check that out. But we can see here that the average FPS for the 6 Pro is 35 frames per second, while it is 51 frames per second for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now this is over a 30 minute period of gameplay session. You can see the FPS stability, 65%, so it's very unstable, compared to 97% on the Galaxy. When we move over to the Exynos version, it is the same result. Samsung still has, actually has a high at 52 for 30 minutes of gameplay. Stability is a little bit less at 88% which is quite interesting and gives us a very interesting starting point when it comes to gaming. So we've seen this in our Pixel 6 Pro gaming video and we know that the Pixel 6 Pro can game, but it cannot game currently at the highest peak for what we want in mobile gaming, especially when you're playing games like PUBG Mobile and Genshin Impact. The S21 Ultra can do that quite effectively and really well on Genshin Impact for a long period of time. So that is something to clearly take note here. Hopefully it's a software update. I don't know, but I'm hoping that will fix things. Now, at this point, I want us to jump back into the rear camera of the Pixel 6 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra to see how it does in nighttime video and photography. Nighttime low light video, Galaxy and the Pixel. Just kind of walking around. I'm walking towards a light source, so it's a bit better. And then I'm gonna walk away from the light source. Um, so you can kind of see, and you get the idea. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Let's do this, and let's see how it goes. So this is where the Pixel line tends to shine. It's nighttime photography, and I think the Pixel line has done a good job here. They've improved the video, but the Galaxy still has the edge. But when it comes to uh, photos, this is where the Pixel still does a really good job. This extra con uh, saturation and contrast really highlights images quite well in low light conditions as opposed to what we have with the S21 Ultra, uh, which is solid, but I think the Pixel wins that round. So when it comes to the fingerprint sensors, uh, both of them have under display fingerprint sensors, but I believe the S21 is better. Now with the Pixel, you have to kind of press all the way through and then you get that reaction, while on the Galaxy, you basically just can tap. Again, the Pixel, 
do it again one more time. Press through, Galaxy, tap. So Galaxy has the better fingerprint sensor. Now, when it comes to battery life, I think both of them are very similar. I will give the edge to the Galaxy. I've noticed that with my Pixel 6 Pro, that I am getting some battery loss. It might just have to do with software optimization and also trying to learn my battery habits on this device. I will say though that when I was using both, at the same time, I was still using my Galaxy more for a longer period of time. So that's just giving you my idea. But I think battery life is still solid on the Pixel 6 Pro. I haven't done a battery test, so go check those out. So. How do we round up this bad of it to find out who won, right? Uh, there are certain categories that I think the Pixel 6 Pro does really well. It does a really good job with low light photography. It definitely has an improved camera. It does have faster charging than the Galaxy, and it's also priced at $899. While the Galaxy itself here, though, has a better gaming performance that we've seen. Uh, its video is really solid in terms of video for an Android device. It's got that uh, periscopic zoom, and we also have S Pen support, which I haven't talked about and something that no device has um, other than Galaxy devices. Uh, so you pick and choose, guys. Who do you think won this battle then? Do you think it's the Galaxy S21 Ultra or do you think it's the Pixel 6 Pro uh, when it comes to all those features? Let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.